Okay, it's been recording. I think so. Just gone to YouTube right now, and there is a direct, a little mini Nintendo direct. It's not as long as the usual directs, I guess. Uh, I got when I did a my indie direct reaction, I got a copyright claim. At first, like it was probably Nintendo, but then I realized, oh no, wait. It's, it has to do with that montage of video games they show off, and they play that generic tune to show off that montage. It's like, you know, there are like songs that are like free use that are better sounding than the generic s s music that they put in those directs that they copyright claim. And I've seen other directs, like they either mute it or talk over it, so I don't get the copyright claim on it. I forgot about that. So whenever that comes up, I have to probably edit it out or like try figuring out how to mute it in my next in this this video right here. So I'm gonna watch the uh, new Nintendo Direct. Just from suggestions, they're gonna talk about probably default too. Uh due to due to the Kung Flu, the release dates are. Yeah, okay. Long ago, yep, Xenoblade. two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. The titans were locked in a timeless battle. <laughs> Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. I just finished. I just finished playing this game like earlier this year on my 3DS. Huh? In the sky. This can't be. No way. It's a. Mecha. It's blackface. I mean, yeah, it's better looking than the Wii and 3DS version, but I don't really see a reason to buy this game. At least not this version. Future connected. Is that DLC? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Oh, is that something related to the um, Melius people? of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And a new epilogue, a new story. Future Connected will cap off the main game. 
So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th, and you can pre-purchase the game starting today. Oh. Also, coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Looks like Bioshock. And, um, yeah, Bottle Shock. Was there, like, another game there included? Uh, I guess it was just Bottle Shock. Oh, Borderlands. Like, I knew there was, like, another game there. I don't really, but I don't really care much for these first-person shooter games. Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. You so-called heroes have filled this world too many times. You are no match for Doom's power. Richards. Not going down without a fight. We have a universe to save. You are wasting your time, fools. Doom always prevails. Doom must become a god. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's Time Attack Mode Another Dive boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free update. Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure, I know my cousin and his wife are 
playing this game. My Switch has been notified me. After downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Can you hunt down the egg zipper hid everywhere? Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account, and other channels too. So, stay tuned. We hope you enjoyed the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey look! Someone's hiring! Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items. Mop the floor and maintain a comfortable work environment. <laughs> they are trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, <laughs> This is your fired the game. <laughs> I get to feel that title sarcastic. Oh, Catherine! The mature action adventure puzzler is coming to Nintendo Switch. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine, Catherine with a C, and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On top of that, so it's essentially Dance Dance Revolution with a wheel. Companion Ring will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Move. And, guard. and you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Better open the gates, one treasured TRPG approaches. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. 
Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get. When they say it's realistic graphics, but their hair looks so... 2000-ish. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate News approaches. The fighter included oh. in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be... Joining the battle from arms. What? This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms. Hmm. So we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Huh. <laughs> Don't miss this arms game trial. There are spirits, like characters that are arms spirit in the game. To Nintendo Switch Which kind of makes me wonder, is it a character that isn't the sphere in the game? So equip super powered arms to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Feeling good? Well, alright. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2. That is weird, like, one of the Smash predictions is not ARMS. No one was thinking of ARMS. I believe I survived. I gotta play Bravely Second sometime. Well, first I need to purchase it. Fire. Water. Wind. Earth. Nature's masters. The Great Stone's power exceeds the hand of man, and if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of Light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Don't swear to details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony, either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book. Elvis and Adele. I've a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the empire. During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points, or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default command. Yes. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow... The more BP you have, the more broken the game is. Or <laughs> you want to see Bailey's Flood play? He completely broke the game. Actually, really appreciate the game a lot more just for watching AC Bailey's Let's Play. Or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and 
statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. A demo version of the game will oh. launch today. And in the near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2. I'm gonna have to download the demo later, but I need to purchase Bravely Second. And I'm guessing it doesn't really have much to do with the story. Let's keep this Do the Bravely Second first, but I should probably get around to buying that. From around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Oh, that was Hanafuda. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, you can't say Connect 4, that's copyrighted. Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games! And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th, pre purchase oh. begins today. Okay. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across mm. stages. Oh. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heavy hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo yo's. Your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too! Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. And get ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. In this remade dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes. How much has left? Lethal battleships using 360 Five minutes. controls and lock on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Who's Shin Megami Tensei 
there's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Trials of Mana, which I think is already released. Yeah, so which is, I've seen advertised before. Elder Scrolls. The Legend of Heroes, Trials of Cold Steel, I'm going to put that in my notes. Uh. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. <sighs> okay. Oh. Now for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Gala region. It's a new adventure to embark on, with new people to meet along the way. Today, we have some follow-up information about Part 1, The Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokémon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokémon... Kubfu oh. from the Master, Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness and oh. the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike style. Dark or Water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Oh. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor. I need to get around purchasing that. End of June. I'll purchase that in June. For those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching.
Okay. So what the Pokemon Sword Shield with the expansion pass. Uh it's a good thing you can pick between like Dark Tower and a Water Tower. Like what if I wanna like evolve Kafu into uh Urshifu, but end up as the water type instead of the dark type I wanted. It's good to know like, that I could pick that. Because I'm a dark type trainer, like, I wanted to evolve into this dark type. Also, I need to get around to get, um, briefly second. I guess, I think I'll purchase that next, next month in, like, April or sometime in May. But I'm gonna have to download the demo of Bravely Second. Not Bravely Second, Bravely Default 2. I need to purchase Bravely Second so, like, before I could, you know, Play Bravely Default 2. Also, yeah, someone in the comments like, the fact that everybody wanted arms in the beginning of Smash and nobody wants them now is funny. I'm just wondering what, how they're gonna do that. Because there are armed spirits in the game, and it's just. If one of the armed spirits has, ends up as a fighter, it would just completely ruin my spirits cannot be fighters theory out the frickin' window. Because then now Rayman's a potential fighter. Now Shadow's a potential fighter. Now, well, Luigi is a potential player. Even though I feel like no, it can't be because there's spirits in the game. But now they've mentioned, oh, it's like, is it an arms player that isn't a spirit in the game? Because, like, the arms do is a spirit. Ruben Girl's a spirit. Um, the one other girl's a spirit. And Quinto is a spirit. I think that's four spirit, you know, spirits in the game already. I'm just going to who the fighter is. Uh, to be honest, I was really expecting either Travis Touchdown or Ryu Hibusa as a fighter. That's... I did not see that coming. <laughs> Uh, what was this guy gets me. This person in the comments is like, Shima getting into his five? Nothing. But Alice, here's Cat with full body. Uh, Catherine wasn't that good. First of all, dude. Catherine's a pretty decent game. It's actually a pretty decent horror game. <laughs> I was just trying to think, when was the last time a Shimmer Gun with the 5 trailer came out? I think it was 2018. You know you're thirsty as fuck for anything when there's hypes for board game compilation. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Fans, we want Persona 5 on Switch. Atlas, look, I hear you, but completely honest, I think Atlas is testing the waters. They didn't announce Shimagami Tessie 5 for the Switch. So they're prepared to put, like they've had Shimagami Sensei games on the 
DS and the 3DS and like to move on to Switch is like. Although I'm just wondering, what, when are going to have a new trailer for that game? Shin Megami Tensei Five. It's like here I am throughout this entire direct. Like where is that? Trailer for Shin Megami Tensei Five. Yeah. Was still that. Yeah, I can't wait so I see the uh, reactions for like uh, just the reactions to arms being smash. I mean, it's like I might get arms as a smash character. Yeah, as a smash character. But if there's like <laughs> there's like some characters I just don't want to get for Smash. I'm not a fan of Ninja Gaiden, so I'm not gonna get Ryu Hibisa. <coughs> I hate Dante's guts when I played Shin Megami Tensei. Knocked on the PlayStation 2. I need a drink. <coughs> Oh, glass over there. Grab it real quick. Okay. Anyways, I have to uh, get ready, but I'm going to upload this the day after direct. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's anyone out there watching? You know, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And... Uh, It's bothering me right now. <coughs> and I hope you have a nice day. I think it's the air.